United States is the main country that is committed to developing large-scale weapons program. A number of U.S. weapons have entered service in 2022, and there's a lot more to achieve initial operating capability in 2023. Let's check out the 10 U.S. weapons that will enter service in 2023. F-16V Block 7072 This is the most advanced version of the F-16 Fighting Falcon. On 15 February 2012, Lockheed Martin unveiled a new version of their F-16 at the 2012 Singapore Air Show. On 16 October 2015, the F-16V flew for the first time with an APG-83 scalable Agile Beam Radar AESA, a new center pedestal display, a modernized mission computer, automatic ground collision avoidance system, and many other upgrades. The new variant is dubbed the Viper, which is intended to better operate with fifth-generation fighters. The upgrade of, of its 144 aircraft fleet started in January 2017 and is expected to be completed by 2023. In 2019, Taiwan and the United States of America signed an 8 billion US dollar deal that would deliver 66 new-built Block 70 aircraft. F-15 EX Eagle II this is a two-seat all-weather, multi-role fighter that offers enhanced capabilities that are completely unique to the U.S. Air Force. It will replace the F-15 CDs. The F-15EX made its maiden flight on 2nd February 2021. The first 15EX was delivered to the USAF in March 2021 and was flown to Eglin Air Force Base in Florida for further testing. The F-15EX features all the latest technology, as well as the capacity to carry 22 AIM 9X Sidewinder and AMRAAM medium-range air-to-air missiles. This fighter can carry most payload amongst all aircraft in the world. It is capable of carrying 30,000 pounds or 13,607 kilograms of ordnance. As of May 2022, the USAF had orders for 80 F-15EXs. The Bell V-247 Vigilant The Bell V-247 Vigilant is a new multi-role tilt-rotor unmanned aerial vehicle being developed by Textron subsidiary Bell Helicopter for the U.S. Marine Corps. The V-247 Vigilant is expected to enter its production phase by 2023. It is designed to offer long-range surveillance and runaway independence to conduct missions in maritime zones. The Bell V-247 Vigilant can be deployed in a range of missions including electronic warfare, airborne early warning AEW, escort for V-22 aircraft, persistent fire support, tactical resupply, and command control communications and computer intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. The unmanned aircraft will be equipped with a modular payload system. The payload bays are designed to accommodate a range of weapon systems, including a Mark 50 torpedo or Hellfire or JAGM missiles. The tilt rotor UAV can carry an internal mission payload of 2,000 pounds and a sling load of 9,000 pounds. M88A3 Hercules This is a next-generation heavy recovery vehicle. The prototype was unveiled in October 2018 at the Association of the United States Army's annual meeting and is scheduled to enter service in 2023. The recovery vehicle is the latest variant of the M88 family, and it is used to effectively rescue disabled tanks from the battlefield. It outperforms the previous M88A2 recovery vehicle in terms of performance, responsiveness, improved armor protection for survivability, and many more. The recovery vehicle will have a number of upgraded features, including a modernized powertrain to increase horsepower and torque. Up next is the ACVR. The U.S. Marine Corps has awarded BAE Systems a contract for the first phase of the amphibious combat vehicle program. The $34.9 million contract has a 20-month performance period, and the company will focus on the design and development of the ACV recovery variant. The variant will provide recovery, maintenance, and repair capabilities to the existing USMC's ACV family of vehicles. Its development started in 2019 and is expected to join the USMC by 2023. AGM-158D JASSMXR In March 2016, Lockheed Martin began analysis on an enhanced wing design to further increase range. The corporation was granted a contract in September 2018 to produce an extreme-range variant of the AGM-158. 
This is called the JASMXR, formerly known as the AGM 150AD. The weapon would weigh around 2,300 kilograms and have a range of 1,900 km with a 910 kg payload. At a unit cost of $1.5 million, the missile features a new missile control unit, changes to the wings, a different pair coating, an electronic safe and arm fuse, a secure GPS receiver, and program protection equipment. Maritime Strike Tomahawk This is a modified variant of the tactical Tomahawk land assault cruise missile designed to destroy surface ships at ranges of up to 1,600 km. The missile's principal mission is to keep the Chinese Navy's surface force at bay in the South China Sea. It will have increased navigation and homing capabilities, allowing it to take out targets at vast ranges with exceptional effectiveness. By 2023, the U.S. Navy plans to deploy the new missile on board surface ships and submarines. The hard target kill variant will be equipped with an upgraded warhead capable of eliminating densely built enemy assets. Up next is the Precision Strike Missile, which is a next-generation, low-risk, long-range surface-to-surface missile designed for the U.S. Army's prison program. The new ballistic missile will give armies the ability to neutralize a variety of enemy threats, including missile launchers, air defense systems, troop assemblies, staging areas, and command and control centers, and will be capable of destroying targets using missile-delivered indirect fires out to more than 499 kilometers. The Precision Strike missile is expected to achieve early operating capability in 2023. AGM-88G AARGMER This is a new variant of the AGM-88E missile which features several upgrades focusing on extending its operational range and survivability. It reportedly doubled the range and speed of AGM-88E, which would result in the AGM-88G's range being around 300 km and a speed of Mach 4. The USAF later joined the AARGMER program, involved in internal F-35A, F-35C integration work, and selected the AARGMER to serve as the basis for their land attack stand and attack weapon. It is expected to attain initial operating capability, which is planned for 2023. USS John F. Kennedy CVN-79 This is the second Gerald R. Ford-class aircraft carrier being built for the United States Navy. It is scheduled to enter service in 2023 if everything goes as planned, and Kennedy will continue the legacy of highly capable nuclear-powered aircraft carrier platforms. Four class enhancements incorporated into the design included flight deck changes, improved weapons handling systems, and this class also features new nuclear power plants, increased electrical power generation capacity, allowance for future technologies, and reduced workload for sailors, translating to a smaller crew size and reduced operating cost for the Navy.